Greetings, YouTube. We got some uh, Wayne Gretzky Auto Mojo here. Wayne Gretzky, the finest hockey player who ever lives, according to many people. You have a uh, Wayne Gretzky autograph, fine autograph, nice little inscription there, 99. On Phoebe, 91. Upper Deck Wing Grincy Auto, certified by JSA, number G63590. From the scammer, T-O-M-A-T-T-15, 12,000 victims, not 1,200, 12,000 victims. There's a certificate of authenticity from JSA. The scammer here is proud of his items he sells. He likes listing the number. Let me go down here. He likes listing the number, big letters. If you notice, there's the regular print. There's the big print. There's a the number. Beautiful Wayne Gretzky. Then if you go over here to the JSA website, you enter the JSA number. Click verify. It tells you right below here what it is. There's a number, Larry Robinson card. The signer is Larry Robinson. It is not Wayne Gretzky. That's a, anybody who knows anything about Wayne Gretzky would know. That's a Wayne Gretzky auto pen. That is done by machine. That is not done by any living human being. That's a copy of one of his real autographs done by machine. That if anybody sends in um, a card to get signed by Wayne Gretzky, you will get this back in auto pen. Now, while JSA has has authenticated these in the past and probably will continue to do so, in this instance, it does appear that it is not has not been authenticated by JSA. And like this scammer does, he puts it in the description, in the title and the description, and he shows it clearly, so you could look it up. And what most of you fail to do is go over here to the JSA website. You go to spenceloa.com. And then you click the Verify Authenticity button. You enter the number, you click Verify, and then you got to scroll down a little, and it'll be right here at the bottom. Say G. That is not a Wayne Gretzky Auto. So what this scammer does, yep, a scammer, he does this often, so he is a scammer, no question about it, it's not speculation, it's not a theory, You, if they have the stripes, you call them a skunk, that's what they are, if a bird's flying through the air, you call it what it is, he's a scammer. That's why he puts the number up in the description, the title, and the description. This way he can say, oh, it's their fault they didn't check it, or some other BS. This, See, he says, this is a certified signature of, of the great Wayne Gretzky, certified. That is incorrect. That is called a lie. Misrepresenting an item is a fraud. It's in, the, in eBay's terms of service. Almost any legitimate uh, sales website will tell you. Uh, you cannot uh, mislabel an item with the intent to defraud. That's considered fraud. It's a scam. Thus, he, this seller is a scammer. Oops, forgot to show you the item number just in case you want to check it out for yourself. Well, you doubting Thomases. And plus, if you see this Wayne Gretzky autograph anywhere, it's an auto pen. It's not his real auto people. Very simple. That's how you know. That's how you can tell. If you see, if you have this autograph anywhere, superimpose it onto this image here. That's an auto pen. It's done by machine. He actually, there's supposedly several different versions of this too. 
So just because if you get an autograph from them and it's not this exact autograph, it doesn't mean it's not an auto pen. There's supposedly several, at least three or four different auto pen versions. And who knows, I mean, he's been around for a very long time, so who knows how many different versions there are. Wayne Gretzky is not in my PC, even though I do have one or two of his autographs. Um, and I do know that this is one of his auto pens. Ask another, you know, Wayne Gretzky collector, you know, if they know how many he has to be sure. But um, I've heard uh, two different things, so that's why I'm not going to um, tell you how many I've heard because nobody, two people have I have asked have told me different numbers. So, but like I said, there are several different versions of his auto pen. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for good rating, and please tell other people about this stuff. Tell them about this scammer here. Go look at his other items. Just please check the numbers if you're ever going to bid on anything on eBay. If they show you the number, and even a lot of times they don't even show you the certificate too. That's another scam. Oh, he comes with a certi you know, if they have two or three pictures of an item, but they don't show you the picture of the certificate of authenticity or letter of authenticity. You know, don't even bother asking them why they didn't take a picture of it because they're probably trying to pull a scam on you. Like this scammer does here. It's not as described. That's all you got to tell eBay when you complain about items like this. The item is not as described. Plus, if you ever win an item on eBay, if you get an item and it's not as described, you should know by now. You can actually tell the seller, uh, this item is not as described. I'm not going to accept it. I want my money back. And PayPal will give you your money back. It's that simple. It's not as, all you got to say, not as described. Scammer. Item number.